Hello, fellow traders. This is uh, Nutty Bar Trading, and we're just gonna do a short video. Basically, I want to start a series where every month we'll review uh, the Apex payouts for that month, and basically, you know, kind of do the top ten traders of the month is kind of the theme. And the top 10 traders of the month is going to be based off of payouts. Uh, and obviously these payouts are on Apex website. You can, you know, it's public information. Obviously, usually they only show like the first name and then the city and state. So obviously there's not any, not too much personal information on there. But I find it interesting and I'm going to kind of collect they only show three months of payouts and yeah i i'm going to start collecting that information every month and then we'll basically compile this data and just keep it going and then once you know at the end of every month i just want to do a short video of hey here are the top 10 traders on apex for the month of may or june or whatever so that's kind of the, my my goal for this video to start a series. Um, if you like it, let me know. If you think, yeah, I guess if you don't care, maybe some, maybe you don't care. That's fine too. I find it interesting and also motivating. So let's get started. So the first this first one we'll show is this is a compilation of basically the data that we currently have. So the top. These are the top 10 payouts in the previous three months. Now, ultimately, like this list will continue to get updated. So this is more, I guess the better terminology for this would be top 10 traders all time, because this list will just continue to grow. And, you know, once we have a year's worth of data, then, you know, here we go. We can. It'll be very interesting, I think. I think last year Apex had had a guy that had over a million dollars uh, in withdrawals. So very awesome. So the top is Smitta from Frisco, Texas. Yeah, he had 195,000 uh, withdrawn in the last three months. Um, then we have Brian from Woodside, New York. He's a very uh, steady, um, steady earner. And he has withdrawn 160,000 in the last three months. Douglas from Las Vegas at 117,000, coming in at third. The Seabrook in Texas is fourth at 110,000. Anna from Mexico City, 90,000, coming in at fifth. Uh, Rakino from Plainsboro, New Jersey, uh, coming in at 80,000 in sixth. And then Martin from Santa Ana. 67,000. Uh, I'm not sure how to may say that name, but Fresno, California, 64,800 at eighth. And then Monteverino. Is that? I'm not sure. Is this France? I assume. Uh, but 64,000 coming in at ninth. And then rounding it out, 10th is Billy Erland at 55,000. That's the overall, that's kind of the data that I have currently is that. You know, is all we can do per for the overall the all time list. So let's switch to only. Also, just ignore my chart here. This is a Saturday, and I am currently testing out testing out new or different uh, ATM strategies that I'm testing out on this Saturday. So I'm gonna pause that so I don't get distracted. Okay, then we have February results. So for February, the number one withdrawal, one number one trader was this guy from France at 64,000. Also, we can do a drop down and then I can see exactly how he took out that 64,000. So you can see, I find that it kind of interesting, you know, he took out on February 1st, um, he took out 14, uh, looks like he has 14 accounts. Uh, and then the 17th, he took out 16. So maybe he has 16 accounts. 
and he's been taking out 2,000 each. And that kind of shows the power of having multiple accounts. So obviously there's more, I mean, there's more cost associated with getting that many counts. Um, also, I guess, yeah, if this is your first time tuning in, I am journeying my trading. Uh, I do live trading every day, and then I do a summary at the end of the day. I full transparency, show my profit and loss at the end of every day. And I basically did my journey to getting 20 accounts funded. I now have the 20 accounts funded, and we are, I think, three days in on trading those funded accounts. So, uh, yeah, please subscribe, like the video, follow along. I would appreciate it. But, yeah, currently on our funded journey, um, not going so well. But anyway. Okay, so February results. Then we have number two, the Seabrook, Texas. Uh, let's see what he's been up to. So he's basically took one withdrawal in February and looks like he has 20 accounts. And he took out 2,750, uh, which is also interesting because that tells me he very likely has, <clears throat> I think, the $150,000 account. Um, or the, I think, 150. Um, that allows you to take out 2,750. But I don't know. I'm just speculating. <clears throat> then we have Rakini from Plainsboro, New Jersey. Took out 40,000. He comes in at number three. And here again, he has 20 accounts. And took out $2,000 per account. That's kind of my goal, you know. Definitely my goal. Will we get there? I guess we'll see. Um, then we have Yvonne Pumphrey, Connecticut. Um, I'm probably butchering these names, but he has 19 accounts. Took out 2,000 each. Very nice. Uh, and then we have Adrian from West Hills, California. Man, it would be really cool if one of you actually saw this video. That'd be so cool. Also, I would love to have a chance to like inter interview some of the people on here, um, especially some of the, the ones that have been really consistent. So here's Brian from Woodside, New York. I talked about him in the uh, overall standings. Like he's been a very consistent trader. And here you can see he took out 10 accounts, took out 2,000 each and 1,000 each on 10 accounts. So Brian from Woodside coming in at sixth place. And then Michael from Burnt Hills, New York. We have a total of 20 accounts and he took out 1,500 each. That tells me he probably has the $25,000 account. Very well done, sir. And then number seven, Michael from Burnt Hills. No, that's, we just did him, sorry. Um, Martin from Santa Ana. Um, looks like, yeah, took out $2,000 twice. And Nicholas from Cecilia, Kentucky. Very nice. And we have rounding out the top 10, Bryson from Barnesville, Ohio. Awesome. So that's the results. Or I need to update these dates. It's not really accurate. <laughs> anyway, we'll update that. Uh, then going to March. Okay, so March. Like you, like I was saying, Brian from Woodside, New York. Again, very consistent and been take. It looks like he has fifteen accounts. He took out two more payments of two thousand each and. Yeah, very well done, Brian, from Woodside, New York. And then we have the Seabrook, Texas. Billy, uh, Perlin, Texas. This is a new, someone new. And he also has 20 accounts, 2750. Maybe we already, maybe we had him on the other one too. I'm not sure. Nope, we didn't. Um, the other thing that's interesting or that I'm like interested to kind of follow along is like Brian from Woodside, New York. Like, to see him, like, just will he be consistently taking withdrawals every month or 
you know, who knows? Maybe in two months or three months, we might not see him again. Obviously, I don't know what that means, but <clears throat> I think it's just very interesting. And I don't know. I just, I think it's very, it's awesome. I think it's awesome that we see, we can have the transparency of withdrawals. And yeah, it tells me that it is possible. It is doable. No doubt about it. Yeah, obviously, it's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. Trust me. If you've been following along on my journey, you'll you'll understand that it ain't easy. Uh, this here we have Nick. He has 20 accounts. Um, then we have uh, I'm not sure that name Fresno, California, coming in at 10th at 32,000. Then we switch to April. April we have Smita. So here, interesting, I find. So February and March, uh, Smita was not in the top 10, did not show up in the top 20 even. And, but then in April, he just, he came into the scene pretty hefty. Um, <clears throat> now, if we go back to February, and we will just search for Smita, we will find him that like he took out 10,500 in February, okay? And then in March, if we search, he took out $7,000 in March. <clears throat> so, I mean, he was definitely doing withdrawals like a couple months already, I feel like, and probably all did all, also did a withdrawal in, <clears throat> in January. So April would have been the first month where he was able to have, like he had no cap on his withdrawal amount. And you can see here, if we, you know, he took out 100,000 on April 4th, 77,000 on April 6th. So 177,000 he took out in a matter of a couple of days, which kind of tells me he's, basically took out as much as he was allowed to for the first three months. And <clears throat> he basically was just keep kept building up his account. And wow. So he has been killing it. And it also appears like he just has one account or maybe two. I guess it could be that he has two. And again, just speculating, but this guy is killing it. But it's curious, like this, he took out this much which i don't blame him but i'll be it'll be interesting going forward in the next couple months if he will be a consistent if he'll be consistently taking money out or maybe he decide you know what i'm gonna take all my money out and i'm now gonna do my own personal money and trade my personal money and maybe he's not gonna continue doing this on apex so it'll be interesting what's well, up this is a definitely a name that I'll be watching on the continue, you know, for the results of of May. Uh, then we have Anna from Mexico City. I took one withdrawal of eighty thousand, so that tells me that she's been taking withdrawals quite a bit. Um, again, like here, they just have one account, and if we go in 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 March and we search for Anna. We, oh shoot, we might have a hard time. We need to do a little better on our search results. Anna, Mexico City, we'll search for that. Okay, Anna, Mexico City. So she took out 3,500 in March and I'm pretty sure she took out 3,500 in February, which tells me she probably has a $300,000 account has been taken out the max withdrawals that she's allowed the last three months. And now this is the first month that she can take out with no limit. And boom, she hit him with 80,000. That's awesome. Man, I love it. Then here's Brian from Woodside, New York again. As you saw in February, uh, Brian wasn't on here, but let's just search for Brian. Oh, never mind. He's right there. Sorry, I'm blind. So he took out 30,000 in February. 
in March, he took out 60,000. And now in April, he took out 70,000. So he's, he's, he's heading, he, you know, it, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Then we have Douglas from Las Vegas. He took out 48. Robert, Panama City, coming in at fifth at 45,000. Chertia, Brandywine, Maryland, 42,000. Colton uh, from, I guess that's California. Then we have Fernando, Fort Worth, Texas, coming in at eighth. Anthony from Coppell, Texas, coming in at ninth. And then My Manuel in Miami, uh, coming in at 10th. So, obviously, very, yeah, congratulations to everyone. That's awesome. Very well done. Um, so, that is kind of going to be conclusion for the video of, yeah, doing kind of the top 10 traders of the month. I'm going to continue to do this. So, hopefully, you enjoy it. And, yeah, I'm actually, you know what, I'm going to do... I don't know if you were able to see or if you watched my previous video. Um, I had a previous video that I, it was kind of a rant. But basically, people were saying, you know, the theory was how can Apex afford to do these payouts, this amount, actually let's go per month comparison. So this is how much in total that Apex has paid out in February, March, and April. So it went from 1.9 million to 2.2 million to 3.1 million, or a total of 7.4 million in the last three months. And, okay, so there's a guy that made a video that basically was saying it's not sustainable, that Apex is bound to be, they're going to they're gonna file bankruptcy soon because there's just no way that this they can do these kind of payouts while they're offering 80 to 90% discounts all the time. You know, he that that was basically basically what he was saying that this is just not sustainable. And I found that hilarious now. I tried to explain to the guy that his math is wrong but he I don't know, whatever. He did he wasn't hearing it. So I actually kind of made a video in response to that a little more in depth. But in that video I actually had some of my numbers incorrect and a YouTube viewer commented on it uh, by the name of N pounds. And so here, I'll just show you. So I had previously, on the previous video, I had estimated that 70% of traders fail when they buy an evaluation account. I was wrong on that. And I thought they might have like 97,000 so here's what my numbers were. I think it was 96,000. This is a little bit estimated, but this is what I had as my numbers when I did the previous video. Like I thought, okay, maybe only 30%. If you buy an evaluation account, 70% will fail. Well, I was wrong on that number. It is so basically how we eat this viewer the commented, and thank you if you're watching this. Thank you for that. I wasn't aware. So here, let me just show you. So this is Apex when they did the $2 million giveaway for last month. Between March 2nd and March 29th, they sold over 277,000 evaluation accounts. That's insane. Okay. Now we're going to take some assumptions, but I wanted to show you that. Um, but that basically means, okay, th so they share the 277,000 entries and on their website, they also shared that last month, 27,671 traders eval accounts got funded. Okay. So if we, so that means only 10% of traders, like 90% failed their evaluation accounts, which is crazy. But, so this number here, and we're, we are assuming an 80% discount, and we're assuming the average evaluation account that was bought was a 50K account. That might be incorrect, I get it. But it's going to be close. 
But if we do those numbers, that's nine and a half million just in that alone. Like, that's insane. So, and obviously these evaluation accounts, people need to pay the one-time fee or do the monthly. I mean, but basically that would be the fees they would collect from once you're fund on those funded accounts. So yeah, thirteen point six million, and uh, they paid out last month three point one. So it's kind of a, a proof of concept, so to speak, to my yeah, to basically anyone that's saying ah, oh, this is not sustainable and blah blah blah. You can direct them to this video, and it's it'll pretty easy to prove that it is very sustainable, and they are doing really well it's actually it's actually crazy how many how many fail evaluation accounts that that shocked me to be honest but anyway that's kind of a correction sorry it took the this video went a little bit long because of that but kind of wanted to do a correction on that video because yeah i was misinformed or i didn't know previously so all right, well, I appreciate you watching. If you like uh, this kind of content, let me know, and we'll make sure to keep doing it. Everybody take care. Have a good weekend.